Welcome to episode 24. In the previous episode, we determined the maximum weight capacity for our boat, that 1,600 plus pounds. In this episode, we will continue on with the calculations to determine the maximum horsepower capacity the Coast Guard would permit us to install on the boat. There are two dimensions you need to determine the horsepower capacity or the max horsepower outboard you can install on the boat. The first dimension is the boat length and the second dimension is the maximum transom width. Our boat length is 187 and a quarter and our max transom width turned out to be 65 and 3 eighths of an inch. Let me show you how I got those. So you measure from the very tip of the bow all the way back to the transom and I did this in the previous episode and came up with 187 and a quarter inches. For the transom you want the max width of the transom but I didn't want to include the shear clamp. So what I did was I made a line extended the line on the side of the transom here, the side panel of the boat, up across this area here, like this. And then I did the same to the other side. And then I just measured from here to the other corner, that dimension right there. And that gives us the max width of the general shape of the transom. Turned out to be 65 and 3 eighths of an inch. So we have those two dimensions that the Coast Guard asked us to obtain in that ruling. Now I have them in inches. Inches, you need to convert these to feet. So just divide the 187 and a quarter by 12 to get 15.6 feet. And divide the 65 and 3 eighths by 12 to get 5.45 feet. Now, the Coast Guard wants you to compute a factor, and the factor is simply that boat length in feet times the transom width in feet. So we would take the factor and compute it as 15.6 feet boat length times 5.45 feet boat width, transom width, and it gives us a nice round factor of 85. So what do we do with this? this factor once we compute it. Let me show you. So our boat factor is 85. Now for single hull vessels under 20 feet with a flat bottom, flat bottom, if this is a cross section of our boat, we know we have a flat bottom side to side. And if the boat has a hard shine, which we do, it means there's a, a sharp corner here where the bottom transitions to the side panel. That's the chine of the boat. Remember, our chine logs go along there. And it's, it's a sharp chine, or also called, known as a hard chine. And then if our outboard we're going to install is going to be tiller steering, meaning you're going to hold on to the small handle or an extension handle that attaches directly to the outboard, that's called tiller steering. If you have a steering wheel with ropes or cables going back to the outboard, that's called remote steering. Uh, I do not plan to install remote steering on this boat. So, single hull vessel under 20 feet with a flat bottom and a hard shine with tiller steering, this is the table you use. So if your factor is between 36 and 39, you can only put a three horsepower outboard on. Our factor is 85, so we're greater than 52, and if you're greater than 52, you use this little formula, which says you take half your factor, 50% of your factor, and subtract 15. So if we're going to calculate the max horsepower for this boat, we take 0.5 times our factor of 85 minus 15, and you get 27.5. The Coast Guard has a note in this ruling that says for a boat with a factor over 52 and a half, which we, we do, we're 85, 
if the calculated horsepower capacity is not an exact multiple of 5, it may be raised to the next exact multiple of 5. Because usually outboards of this size come in 5 horsepower increments. So the Coast Guard will allow us to raise this to the next multiple of 5, which would be 30 horsepower. So the maximum horsepower capacity for this boat I've calculated as 30 horsepower. There is a provision in the ruling to allow you to do a performance test if you want to install an outboard with greater horsepower than 30 horsepower. However, uh, I'm just going to use the calculations because I don't plan on installing an outboard over 30 horsepower. So where does this go? Well, I'm sure you can guess it goes on that Coast Guard sticker. So we've c computed a maximum horsepower capacity of 30 horsepower, and it goes right there on the sticker, max horsepower. So, so far in the previous episode, we calculated this number, the maximum total pounds of person's motor and gear we can put in the boat, and now we've calculated the max horsepower we can install on the boat. So in the next episode, I plan to go over uh, the number of persons and the total weight of those persons that you can carry with the vessel. So we'll see you in the next episode, and I hope you're enjoying this. And if math is not your thing and you're not, uh, don't worry. We'll get back to boat building here after a, a few more episodes. I'll try to keep these short. All right. God bless.